Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. But wait, 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 wait. I, I know the scripture that you're talking about. Yes, Abraham did have slaves, right? But let me read this slave to you. This type of slave that we talk about what Abraham, Abraham had. All right, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, um, verse. Give me verse. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. We go. You have a question, right? Yes, yes. So just give me one second. Yeah, all right. So go to verse 48. Listen to this. Listen to this. No, no, I start from 32. 32. Because the turn of chapter 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fall with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. Listen to this. It says, Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. So, Ghanaians are right. When the white men came here, how did they take our sons and our daughters away? How did they take them? Brother, brother, this is what I'm going to do with you. When I ask a question, don't be like the pastors. You just talk, talk. I want answers, all right? All right, so. Okay, all right, that's good. If you're reading that, if you're using the Bible to bring out a question, then we should use the Bible to answer. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm reading the Bible, right? And the Bible says that your sons, listen to me. Who are they? Who are they? You know, like. Uh, no, no, they are the, they are the Jews. The Jews in Israel, they are the Israelites. They are one tribe. Okay, so you're saying that the white man is the real Jews, right? Brother, I don't like liars, man. Just standing here, everybody heard what you said. You said that the Jews in Israel, they are the real Israelites. They are one tribe. So stop lying. I don't like the pastors. So stop lying. The, the pastors lie, so I don't like pastors. So you trying to be a pastor? You know? All right, so what, what, did, what did you say about the Jews? Who are the real Jews? Because I uh, what you are teaching, see, the reason why you come out is like to propagate a gospel or a truth you discovered. And if I don't understand something, don't I have the right to answer? No, 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 you have the right. But when you say something, be a man and stand behind what you said. That's what I'm saying. You can ask questions. So, like, make me stand by what I ask. I said that, like, using slavery, talk about um, the white guys who came to Africa here to take our brothers there. Like, this, um, like, this is not true to me. I studied a little bit about Rastafarianism, the whole propagate the black power and all of that. So I, I know that. What I'm saying is this. If you're talking about slavery, slavery didn't start when the white men came to Africa. Because in the Bible, both in the New and the Old Testament, people had slaves. Even the Israelites, they had slaves. And Abraham, who is the father of the Jews, he had, he had slaves. I, no, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Who said brother? Listen to what I'm saying. What you say, I understand that it's in the scriptures, right? And I'm not going to run away. All right. So you said that Abraham has slaves. Yes, Abraham has servants. Did Abraham put chains on your neck and your feet? No, the Bible didn't talk about that. But you were slaves. Brother. So let me ask you. You know, you know Ghanaian, Ghanaian custom, right? When you are rich, right, you hire someone to work for you, right? But at that time, you can buy someone. So let's say, um, you owe me money, right? You cannot pay me the money. Let's say you owe me, how much is expensive here? What's a lot of money here? 20, 20 Ghana, 20,000 Ghana. So let's say you owe me 20,000 Ghana, right? And you cannot pay me back. So you say, that, oh, you know what? I cannot pay you back. So I have a, a daughter or I have a, a son. He's going to work for you, right? After, let's say he's going to work for you for like three years. Then three years when he worked for you, I don't have you. I don't owe you the $20,000. I mean, 20 Ghana city, 20,000 Ghana city, right? So that's how it was with Abraham. Also, Abraham taught other people that if you come and you said that, yo, um, you were a servant, right? Abraham will buy you so that you can work for Abraham. But Abraham did not put chains on your neck. He did not put ankles on your feet. So that's the difference between Abraham's servants and we being slaves. Now, let me read this scripture to you. Uh, read verse 22. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given 
and another people. When the white man came here, right? My my grandmother did not give my brother to my white man. She would take my 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 grandson to America and enslave him. No, the white man forced our people, enslave our people, rape our mothers, our sisters. Put chain, put chain. This is what they do to us. This this what is this is this is the slavery that we're talking about. We're not talking about Abraham's kind of slave. We're talking about this type of slave. When the white man came here in, the, in Ghana, when he came here, he raped our sisters, raped our mothers, took our sons and our daughters by force. It wasn't given to them. They took it by force. If I come to this brother right here, right, and you see, it's, it's listen to me. How, okay, who, who did they pay? Who, who did the white man pay money to take our sons and our daughters to slave? Who? Who? Some of our kings. Mm. Tell me the kids so that I can go and collect the money from them. Who? And also some family heads. Brother, who? Oh. Oh, brother, 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 let me ask you. Okay, 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 we said that they sold them, all right. Okay, so they sold them. So, which means they sold them for sugar, right? Okay, so he said that, you. so this is what the brother is saying. Our great, 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 great father, listen, our great, great, great parents were so stupid that they sold their sons for sugar. Does it make sense? Does it make sense that someone will sell you for sugar? Ghana has gold. What do we need sugar for? We are gold. We have got gold coast. Why did the white man call us gold coast? Why? Why did the white man call us gold coast? Yeah, because we are gold. So if we are gold, you... You will sell your son and your daughter for sugar, brother. Come on, man. Don't let the white man deceive you. That's what the, man, the white man teach us. So what are you talking about? No, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. Um, um, those who are not needed in the family, like drug. No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Let's change the mindset. Let's change the mindset. The white man said that we African, we live. We are monkeys. We live on the trees. We live on trees. We believe that. We, some people really believe that we Africans, we live on trees. We can we live on... Because why? The white man told us. And we believe that. It's not the same thing the white man said that Jesus is a white man. Jesus is a black man. Maybe you ask your sister right here, what color is Jesus? What do you think she's going to say? No, if you listen to what I'm saying, you listen to what I'm saying. If I ask the sister, sister, bra, sister, bra, sister, bra, sister, mamu swasi bako, 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 Brother, who be sad, mommy or two or see who be sad, who be sad, sister, 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 ask one of sister, sister, ask one of sister, oh, brother, brother, I could see police just wear calabay, you share calabay, brother, you share calabay, remember, 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 brother, you share calabay, you share calabay, mentally, hey, white man, white man, can I ask you a question, is Jesus white, brother, sister, Yes, yeah, Calabay. What color is Jesus, brother? Sister. Sister. What, what color is Jesus? Everybody knows Jesus is white man. That's the doctrine the white man has taught us. We believe, but, no, it's you. You don't believe that. But listen to me, brother. When we're talking about our people, right? We talk about majority of our people, not just you. This is the right here. Listen to this. You see how, you, how she burned her hair? It's a curse. But she doesn't know that she thinks beautiful, but it's a curse. No, what are my mom's as mom's as men for it? What color is Jesus? Try the proper man for it. Oh, you see, you see, you see. Wait, wait, did Jesus walk on the earth? Did Jesus walk on? This is love. That's, that's the indoctrination of the white man. Sister, what color is Jesus? Sister, who for me? Oh, no, yes, you are color bay. Are you color bay, sister? Ah, it's a project, sir. Sister, sister, yes, what color is Jesus? Sister, yes, what? Oh, yeah, I rap me, sister. But what I'm saying is that okay, so you said that the Israelites are not black or white. Okay, look. Okay, what color was Moses? What color? The are like Okay, what? So they are not what? They are not black. Okay, give me Exodus chapter four. Let's see what color Moses was. Give me Exodus chapter four. Bring it out. Because these people, this is what they do. So called pastors. Oh, and I'm a good boy. And then, and then, I'm a man. 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 And the Lord said, Furthermore, unto him, put not thy heart into thy bosom.
book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I have beheld to the throne that cast down, and the ancient of days. Who is the ancient of days? The ancient of days is very good, very good. The ancient of days is God, but listen, listen. And the ancient of days, they sit. For you to sit down, for you to sit down, what do you need to sit down? Right now, if you want to sit down, yes, you need a chair. What else do you need? Well, we have to start with what? So that's when you have a body. So God is sitting. God has a body that he's sitting down. That's what the Bible is saying. God has a body. Yes, all right, read. Whose garment was white as snow. God has a garment all the way down to his foot. And it's white as snow. Very nice, very beautiful, huh? And the hair of his head. No, uh, I'm going. Wait, come here, come here, come here. Got it. Um, Daniel's going to describe the, the color or the texture of God's head. Listen to it, listen to it. And the hair of his head. Like the pure food. Which nation of people has holy hair? So meaning, when you can see our grandfathers, their head is turned white, gray, and it's white. It's white. What texture is holy? When you say holy, what's holy? Brother, it's like people are describing. Father, listen, okay, it's like bullet, so it's like bullet, so what, 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 what's bullet? The color is already white, but what's bullet, what's bullet? Huh? No, what's bullet? Bullet is, okay, you sheep hair is bullet, your hair is sheep hair. Yeah, your hair is sheep hair, your hair is sheep hair. She has a white woman hair on her head. So, your head is bullet hair, his head is bullet hair. Christ, God is what? Which nation of people has holy hair? The white man has holy black people. So if Christ said that if you have seen me, you have seen me. My father, if my father is black, what color is what color is black? Come on, brother. Yo, pastor doesn't know the Bible, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.